Welcome to Research Rocks. In this video, we will see how to write PhD synopsis very smartly. I will provide you detailed information which contain which point is important and how many pages you need to require and what is the process. So let's start as a detailed demonstration. Before start the video, please subscribe our YouTube channel Research Rocks. So simply I will show you of my PhD synopsis thesis. My PhD synopsis page size is a 12 including certification and introduction so look at this this is a specific template i follow my university template so my title is a text to space synthesis system for marathi language using concatenation technique university name registration doctor or phd my name and my supervisor name so again one certificate comes here and how many important topic i cover here first of all introduction so my domain is a speech processing so i put it there as a fundamental of definition of explanation speech processing need of significant of this current research how many techniques available currently on speech synthesis and sub techniques also available or not and then i'm doing some literature survey objective of my research hypothesis of the research and tentative chapter scheme and then conclusion and final references bibliography so look at this this is my introduction as a speech communication or speech processing related introduction i am writing here more than one and a half page and then i introduce speech processing what is a speech processing how to communicate and what is the advantage of day-to-day -day life in human related information i write one page more than one and a half page and then need of significant of my current research what exactly need is going on this currently phd thesis then i am put it here as a small uh, diagram here so input comes here linguistic analysis and then speech generation and synthesize so you can explain each and every point very clearly if you are working on this seriously then I am explaining speech synthesis technique how many techniques how many algorithms are available and which algorithm are suitable for this like articulatory synthesis so I put it here as a definition first of all and then I'll I explain little bit about this technique I also mentioned there as a sub part of this particular technique like uh, and then again second format synthesis definition i am explaining each and every point and then advantage and disadvantage also this particular technique like concatenation again concatenation sub sub techniques also available like under the concatenation then literature survey mostly i write a literature survey of 89 research article and who write so i am explaining each and every paper like one or two paragraphs so look at this this is a one paper paragraph and this is a second paper paragraph after reading after gathering lot of information then i write literature survey so those points are very important to literature survey and specific objective of your research why you are making text to speech synthesis system using this domain study of concatenation technique create your own database implementation technique using predefined techniques are available you i am using same those technique and then i am i'll modify then hypothesis of this technique which language which domain you are selecting you put it there and then tentative chapter scheme so my chapter scheme is same as it is i am submitting this one for day one and i submit like a last day of my thesis so five chapters are available like introduction literature survey automatic speech synthesis system implementation of technique and proposed work and then conclusion and future work then again conclusion i am adding here of my synthesis then here bibliography i am added here and put it here 10 to 20 research article for this particular making at the end my name and my supervisor name and then it's very simple process to write your phd synopsis as a starting point of view as a last point of view also i am submitting this one same but i modify a lot i am putting research and uh, write also so those are point it's is very important so you can follow these tips like introduction technique literature survey objective hypothesis tentative chapter and conclusion and references so you can use these tips and tricks and follow my flowchart and write your phd synopsis very smartly if you are need any help or you have any question you can comment me i will help you or guide you hope you like this video before leaving please subscribe our youtube channel research rocks till then jai hind Vande Mataram.